How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to another episode of You Warned Me Not To Watch This. Starting this show has actually been pretty exciting because it's been so long since I've gotten a flood of comments being like, Oh man, Danny thinks he's ready for this show. Just wait till he gets to episode blank. Which, as some of you might know, is my favorite kind of comment to get. Episode 11, huh? I'll be there. It always seems to be episode 11, doesn't it? But that's fine. I've dealt with plenty of episode 11s before. If episode 11s were a type of monster, I would be a certified witcher by now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on moving into this show with the blind arrogance I started with. Now let's proceed into the forest that is banana fish, try and find the dark cave that episode 11 resides in. <laughs> This is the most American journalist behavior I've ever seen. You got yourself thrown in prison for punching a cop? That's sick, bro! Yo, you gotta tweet that shit! Delicate arms? You're like nine feet tall and four feet wide. Also, I like the idea of these guys recruiting another inmate to protect Ash. Like, that's kind of cool. I like this silly, quirky depiction of an American prison. Quiet down, Max, you silly goober, said the nation's murderers and thieves. I'm gonna regret reacting to this so fast, aren't I? Yeah, that was an incredibly scary thing to say. Yeah, the cafeteria is over here, bathrooms are over here. Oh, also, uh, don't go walking around by yourself. Inmates like to use the newbies as flashlights. Okay! What, what'd I say? I like how in most prison movies, they'll have, like, some big dude go up to the protagonist and be like, I hope you're ready to become my bitch, little man. But here, the inmates are like a bunch of gossipy middle schoolers. Oh, he's cute. Maybe I'll... What? No. No. Oh, no, you ask him out. Yeah, you... Oh, my God, you guys would be so cute together. Ah, <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, I like having a good time. You know, maybe this Garvey guy is all right. What is he in time out? What? You're not his dad, prison guard number 11. He was in solitary, not the timeout chair. I'm pretty sure him getting out wasn't contingent on whether or not he learned a lesson. <laughs> oh, never mind. What is this apology based prison system? I thought you get thrown into solitary for like a set amount of time. I didn't know you could get out early by saying sorry enough. Oh yeah, which part was the most fun for you? The part where you got food thrown in your face or the part where Ash beat you up? All Garvey has said this entire show is that he wants to show Ash a good time. So as far as we know, Ash is having a blast. What the hell, man? I trusted you. Hey, Doc, your job is to give him medicine, not judge him for it. What an insane attitude for a doctor to have. Can you imagine if you went to the doctors and it was like, Hey, Doc, I sprained my wrist. I was just thinking I might need an x-ray. Oh, yes, my liege, and perhaps after I can carry you upon my back all the way up to your little castle. All right, I guess I don't need one if it's a hassle. I'm going to get you the x-ray. First, I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to embarrass you in front of this entire fucking hospital. Bye. 
banana fish ka. Is this show trying to make bananas intimidating? Because it's not gonna work. Why is this writer like, with banana fish, we wanted to do for the banana what Jaws did for the shark? Let you meet him? Did you just briefly forget that you're in prison? That's like so unfair. This is like as unfair as Harry Osborn swearing to kill Peter Parker after he killed his father. Griffin literally ran out of the shadows machine gunning anything with a pulse. It was pretty justified for Max to shoot back at him. Weird time to make this a race thing. But I guess I shouldn't be too surprised the 17-year-old gang leader is saying some distasteful stuff. Oh my god, Ash is really shooting his shot over here. But look, as many of you know, I know way better than to expect a kiss in these kinds of anime. These shows love building up this insane sexual tension between two same-sex characters and giving absolutely no payoff. So we're not doing it anymore. We're not getting our hopes up. I'm not gonna sit here and patiently wait for a gift that will never be delivered to me. UPS told me they lost my package and that's fine. But the fault's on me if I keep waiting for them to show up on my doorstep. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Is that a kiss? Was that an actual lip-to-lip -lip transaction? Holy shit! No way! We finally got an on-screen kiss three episodes into this show! The last time I got an on-screen kiss was when I reacted to Given two years ago. <laughs> Tongue! Oh my god, we got tongue too! Oh yo, I bet he slipped the little aspirin pill he got from the doctor into his mouth. Jana, sweet. Bye. And an ass slap! Oh my god, what a day! What a special day this has been! Should I just stop the video now, considering it's peaked? I just filled out my gay anime bingo card. I think we I think we can pack it in. We got an on-screen kiss tongue, and then an ass slap to bring us on home. Wow. You know, UPS may have lost my package, but I guess there really is a Santa Claus. Damn, that must have been a hell of an ass grab. Totally called it. Chantai ni itte shota won to you otoko ni atte hoshi. Ore no namae o daseba aeru hazda. Doctor Meredith kara ore ga azketa mono. No chance he wrote all of that on this tiny little slip of paper. Dude's got the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy written inside of an aspirin. Kawaii Nihon Nego present us today. China Tanka. Yo, AG is ready to tear up the club scene in this outfit. That one kiss turned this man into a whole fashion icon. Also, I like how there hasn't been, like, a single moment where anybody has questioned that kiss. AG not making a big deal out of it is super cool. Like, I like that he clearly felt the pill get slipped into his mouth, and he's like, oh, I see what's going on here, like, we're gonna bust you out or something. He's like, he's trying to deliver me a message. Got it. No, like, ooh-woo-ness about it, you know? But it is a little strange that none of the other journalists found it wild that Ash just, like, forced his tongue into their intern's mouth. Isn't that a conflict of interests? Shouldn't AG be immediately taken off this case? <laughs> Samurai boy. Oh, never mind. AG's about to be taken off this fucking life. Brief episode transition. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to exclusive reaction videos every month, and right now I'm reacting to Blue Lock on there. You'll also get access to my exclusive Discord server and access to the recordings of all the live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future. On top of that, you'll just be helping out the page a ton and ensuring I'm able to keep putting out videos as frequently as I do. If all that sounds cool to you, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Now, on to the next one. <laughs>
このくらいのそんなの机の上だとっとと持って出るぎ Holy shit, you can stand? Oh my god, that was terrifying! スキップも死んだこいつらも殺すお前はあの変態じじに麻薬漬けにされて<笑>骨まで喋られろ<笑> Okay, cool, that was the most terrifying threat I've ever heard <笑>そんとギャアッシュを呼んでやる<笑>腹切りすんのはお前の方だぞ、おさ。ショータ We're four episodes in, and this is like the third time Shorter has appeared out of the shadows to save the day. How are you not keeping tabs on Cyberpunk Batman over here? そういえば、どうしてあそこがわかったのチャンタイへ行ったらいないって言われたよ。いや、いたぞ。どこにここにああ Oh no! Poor AG hasn't met a single person who hasn't been outwardly racist towards him. Except for Skip. We all know how that turned out! I thought your one piece of advice to him was to never go on a walk. The last time you went on a walk, he got molested! Oi, where are you going? You killed me! You're going to be nice to me, so I'll be good. You're good. Why did Ash get sent to the horniest prison in America? I'm surprised the cafeteria isn't a Hooters. I don't like that this guy's still flirting. He's got game. For sure he's got game, but I think he's heavily misreading the situation. Hey, you know what? That was really fucking cool. Ash went full Splinter Cell Conviction on this dude's ass. I know I'm literally the only Splinter Cell Conviction fan in the world, but I'm keeping that reference in. <laughs> what a terrifying image. Ash is over here turning this man into a literal sheet ghost in real time. That was so, like, disturbingly graphic because of how many little details were in it. Like, not only is there some, like, blood on his forehead, but he's got, like, the drool coming down his cheeks. You can see little bits of glass where he smashed into the mirror. That was super cool. Really, really effective imagery there. Yeah, I've also got to assume the fact that you're currently in prison is gonna make that custody battle pretty difficult. Usually when a judge is weighing their options of which parent to give a child to, it's, it's typically not the one in prison. How about you tell him his brother fucking stood up? That was a pretty crazy event nobody's talking about. Although I guess him dying is probably overshadowing that a bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's some <laughs> that's some real natural American dialogue there for you. Yo, honey. You know, for a bunch of violent maniacs, everyone's at least pretty verbally nice to Ash. They've called him honey, they've called him cute. Dude's getting equal amounts of compliments as he is ass beatings. Oh no, he's about to get fucked! Oh no, he's about to get forked! The hell is this nosedive shot in this dude's crotch? <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's literally the dictionary definition of getting forked. <laughs> but first he stood! Lead with that! That's exciting news! You smuggled a whole bottle of bourbon? How wide is this dude's asshole? Definitely don't still kill this man. Max arguably had a stronger connection to Griffin than Ash ever did. Also, Griffin literally went nuts and attacked everybody. This is an inexcusable rivalry. I 
くまなきゃ救われなかった。Oh. I love some good emotional vulnerability. 兄貴が死んだってことが嘘じゃないってわかる。本当にグリフィンはもういないってことが。God, I love some God tier dialogue too. Also nice, I'm glad they made up. And that is episodes 3 and 4 of Banana Fish. Yeah, still, like, still pretty great. Still pretty great for, like, a. Gangster, like crime syndicate kind of anime. I'm not usually like this, usually isn't my sort of speed,、um, but I am digging this. I'm such a sucker for like believable and like relatable dialogue in anime, and this is definitely like fulfilling that need for me. Also, thankfully, like a fairly merciful couple of episodes,、uh, considering what, what happened in the first video. So my arrogance is still in full swing. I am absolutely excited for whatever the hell awaits me at episode 11, though. So if you guys keep watching these, I'll keep watching this. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to free.